by the way, uh, Neil has decided that now is the time to three bet King. She played it to get the absolute lot. That was brilliant. Katie ah. Swift all in. It, it, it's, it, I mean, she has been, for me, she has been the revelation of this tournament yeah. so far. Oh, 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 ah. oh. We could be about to lose the, the, the strongest player in the field. He'll take it in his stride more than anybody. It's, a, it's another day at the office for him. Uh, he wasn't just calling to spike an ace against a pair of kings anyway. That was, uh, that was only part of his plan. And uh, 220,000, not bad, but uh, he was up for the middle. All right, nice flop for Maria here, top pair. It's the first time he's done it, and now that he's done it, he's totally wrong. And that's great composure on the, on the huge stage. <laughs> I remember in Venice one time, they were playing a, like a 25 or 10K <coughs> high roller. They were down to three. It was Phil and the Jungleman <laughs> and that fella from California, Galen or uh, Galen Hall. <laughs> and then Phil somehow got left in a coup with he's had, he's had two and a half, no, three big blinds. And uh, Galen's raised on the button. And uh, and Jungleman is folded in a small blind, and Phil has called <laughs> to leave himself with one chip back. And Jungleman and Galen started laughing, and then the flops come, and uh, Phil's checked, and Galen's bet. <laughs> and Phil's I, I'm, I'm gonna say it before Phil's we hear what happened here. He had one big blind left, and Jungleman actually they had to stop the game. It took him five minutes to compose himself because he was <laughs> he was laughing so hard. I thought it was the funniest thing you'd ever seen with Phil. Yeah, how many braces did Jungle line. Man got? Well, oh, good point. I know. You know, I know. But it was I'll tell you how good fun. Phil is. It was still very fun. Phil is almost as good as he thinks he is, and that's <laughs> very, very good yeah. indeed. That's, uh, that's very, very good. I mean, I agree good. with you. Yeah, yeah. He's you know. almost as good as he thinks he is. <laughs> yeah. I agree with you. I love Phil Helmut. You know that. I love I know him. Uh, but I know Mike Sexton likes betting <laughs> on him. <laughs> Well, I, I, you'd always want him in the last longer, wouldn't you? I mean, you'd always want to back him against any player in the you field. Want him to last you might want him long in a tournament in, 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 in a winner hold him, well, well, he's he's a finisher, isn't he? I mean, yeah. how, how many finals has he made where he hasn't won it or at least come second? He's a finisher, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's a finisher, that's oh, right, for sure. He's Phil Hill. I remember Mike Sexton had him to win a place. <laughs> to, I think he had a bet with Chip Reese. I think Cabage might have been in the middle of that. John Cabage. But he's just an anomaly. The fifth member of the Hendon Mob. John Large Cabage. Marie is asking for a chip count off of Jeremy. Fair enough. And this is before she decides what to do with the raggedy old ace and the small blind. If he's got, and he does, have about 19 big blinds right now, or 18. Yeah, it's, it, it, I, I, guess, I guess it's, it's, it's a bit ropey because she's thinking if she raises and he shoves, she kind of has to call but doesn't really want to play that big a pot. I mean, so she's decided to limp it. Remember we were talking about Ireland's uh, Colette Doherty earlier, and she came up with the one, don't feed the bears. Did, did, did she limp the shove here? Did, I mean, she very well may have. It, unfortunately, you've got to make a lot of marginal decisions I'm in this game. I'm betting she's going to fold. On past form, yeah, but, I mean, it's she, she was under repping her hand really in the blinds, but uh, it's the weakest ice. I kind of yeah. like what you're saying there. But yeah. I, I think that she probably did limp to fold. She didn't want to raise fold, so she decided to limp. Is this one of those things where the other, one of the other reasons she doesn't want to do it up is because it's given Jacob so much equity by her playing a big pot with uh, Jeremy. Yeah, and they, you know, they want to take uh, cheap flops against Jeremy and, and, you know, and for one of them to take him out, don't they? But they, they don't want to be doubling him up. Gus Hansen had a, a big thing on that in his, his book from years ago about the dynamics three-handed. Well, there was it was a quite a long book, to be fair. <laughs> I still think it was, I know, one, no, I know, I think I, it was I, one of the greatest poker books ever written. Is, is, is that the one about... Um, Every Hand Revealed when he did the whole... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it was. To me, it's... I, I, I read it in one sitting. It's yeah. a fantastic idea as well, isn't it? It hadn't been done before. Yeah, but it's, it's fantastic. He won the tournament. I mean, could yeah. you imagine? Well, how many times have he, he, did he go through the process before? Was it the first time yeah, he went through the process? Yes, it was. He's got handsome. 
<laughs> that's, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? Pretty I mean, incredible. I can think of a lot of players who could have started writing that book and, and were going to publish it when they won a tournament. <laughs> I mean, one guy started. <laughs> last with, one guy started with a quill. <laughs> <laughs> I guess nobody knows what a quill is. Anymore, Simon right? changed the name. Of <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think Jeremy's going to make of the fact that she took so long to call? I'm not crazy. Not an I'm not crazy about this call that she made it. Not, a not, like not an awful lot because she's been taken very, very long about it. With all decision. decisions, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a fair comment. It's been taking, taking a long time about this. Jeremy finds that. Real? He's bet pretty small. He's really going to be hoping he checks behind on the turn here. I, I, it's so uh, admirable that she she, oh, she does look like she has oh, a very good plan all the time. That was the plan. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that is the plan. Isn't it? That's plan A. Now, if you can check again, he'll think this is a good card to represent, won't he? Yeah. And he does have the, the, the gut shot as backup. Could be check check in the ten. It can't be a check. I mean, the, no, it, no, that's just. She for doesn't the have an ace in a million years yeah, here. Oh wow! Maybe if he didn't have the gut shot as backup, he would have put it better again. Then, well, you know, there aren't that many fives out there. She's got to either let him hang himself. What do you mean there aren't that many fives out there? <laughs> Four of them. <laughs> I, I honestly don't don't believe he checked her. Explain that to me. I mean, it it. Looked for all the world like he had an ace and she could yeah, never have one. Yes, it did. Um, but if, if um, I, I, I actually think he may have made a small mistake there in, in that he acted a little bit too fast. She, she can't have an ace here. He knows that. She doesn't have an ace. She doesn't even have an ace, even though we see it. She does not have one. <laughs> I'm, I'm past form. She she checks here, but it's what she puts him on. If she thinks that he's got a hand she can extract value from. Once he's checked on the turn, it feels like she's got show, he's got showdown value and she needs to make a bet. That's, by, that's how I would feel if I was her. She may, needs to make like a half-pot bet. She never, she never does anything in a hurry and that makes her very, very balanced. You can't read anything about strength or weakness into that. Into that. She's trying to extract some value from, from any one pair hand. Or even, you know. I wonder, can she be inducing a raise here? She Definitely be. part of her thinking, Park. She has bet very small, actually, hasn't she? She's bet very small. So, as opposed to the chances of Jeremy having a five or in his queue. I think she's she's pretty much discounting that. She, I think she's discounting the idea of her being behind. I was thinking about if he shoved. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Okay. Would she discount it? Well, it's also, you know, she gives herself the option to get away if, if he does shove and she thinks she decides she's behind. She, I mean, this is the way she always plays. She gives herself so many options all the way down to the river. Wow! And he's done it. He's pulled the trigger. Go on, my man. Go on, my yeah, man. Yeah, but it's, n it's not enough. It's not enough to make her fold. Uh, you know, it's... it's uh, she, she's going to think because well, she always does. Well, it might be enough to make her fold, but you've got, you got to give yeah. the guy credit for yeah. all he had. I mean, what do you want him to do, buy in again? <laughs> she saw it as a defensive bet. You know? I think it was an area, somebody used to say, this is the greatest thing about poker is if you always give people the rope to hang, to hang themselves with. It's, it's what, it's 65, 70 million to her, 80 million to her? I mean, it looks like a very, very strong bet by him because he can't possibly be expecting a fold if she's got any kind of hand. I'm not sure about this bet by him because of I the stack sizes. I, I, I love it. I mean, well, it's, it's making her think. I mean, if anybody thinks this long when you make a bluff, you know it can't be that terrible, right? Because uh, you make them think. It's when you get snapped off that it's embarrassing. But, uh, I mean, how, how is she ever folding here? She's got aces up. Well, with, if she, with, if with she the, does with, call with here, With a few hundred thousand on the line, she's quite entitled to have a little bit of Yeah. That. I mean, this is, this is the third player she's done this to, basically. <laughs> I mean, think about it. It's, inc it's an incredible performance she's done here. Yeah, m maybe up until this moment, she, has, she hasn't been sure how small the, the raise is. Because she's just been thinking through the hand. Well, it's, it's not that small. I mean, Barney, if she, calls and lo if she calls and loses, okay, she is now third in chips. Yeah. Okay, if she calls... Is she? Yeah. There's 254 in there, and it's about 85 to her. She's gonna have. He's gonna have 320. She's gonna have 250. Ah, she's got to call. If he shows her a five, he shows her a five. It, if she to. calls and and wins, she's made the okay. call. Good for her. Good for her. Wow. 
I'm with Nell Heads Up. I got news for you. She is. This is. This is an. This is an unbelievable performance. I mean, great stuff from Jeremy. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a great edition. effort. He would have got her off one pair, right? I. I mean. You know, I loved that play by him. Yeah. But you have to love the play by her even more because she set it up. She set every single player in this table up, and then she just she just kicked him in the knee. <laughs> We've got two players heads up. They're, they're the two players that we thought were probably going to get heads up and, and I think probably deserve to be heads up in this. Uh, but they've got two very different journeys uh, that they made it here by. I mean, Maria was a day two direct buy-in, so she bought in at the last possible moment when she would have been well behind the average stack. But Jacob, now his his, his journey was that uh, he, he won this middleweight on party poker and he, uh, and he won 5.5K. And uh, he, he played the DTD 500 deep stack. He finished in the top eight. Uh, he won himself a, a Caribbean package. He went to Punta Cana. He got through the day one and the day two. <laughs> he got the gold medal. So he's been all around the world. She just turned up, put down, put down five grand at the last minute. And well, he, when, when I said when you said they got here by very different routes, <laughs> you weren't kidding, were you? No. Oh, God, I mean, isn't that a fantastic story? It isn't it that really great? Is. It's great. It really I mean, is. Uh, and it goes to show there's a million ways to get into this toy, and there they are, both, both playing for a million. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure he's listening here today. Well, yeah. Him and James. This is going to be a true heads up. They're going to be playing 4-8, then 5-10. So 75 big blinds a man. Uh, totally even stacks. Uh, may the best man or woman win. This is a great event. This is it. This is the, the heads up match. Even stacks. This is... No deal. This is kind of uh, very, very pure poker, isn't it, Barney? High stakes, a million pounds. Yeah, and um, it'd be interesting to see when they're playing so deep, um, whose style prevails here because uh, she's been playing very small ball, very, very thoughtful poker. He, he pushes his edges a little bit more and uh, there'll be a lot of respect. Uh, the, both of them have played absolutely fantastic. Both have shown they can make good calls, good laydowns, good moves. And um, they're playing deep. You know, I don't expect this to be quick. Yeah, I mean, you, you've always got the chance of a cooler, but uh, I think there is a lot of play in this in this heads up. Joined by Mr. John Calmer Scally, as uh, he's known far and wide in the poker world. And uh, how, how did you get here, <coughs> Scally, in this event? Deep enough. Um, well, I, I just walked through. Around the corner. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm, 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 do, I'm kind of working for Just Till Dawn now, arranging some of the bigger cash games. So, not actually had any chance at all to play this week. You're actually uh, the, the face of Dust to Dawn lately. <laughs> what are, they changed the, 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 the scally room, right? No, it's, it's called the, the scally no, it's room. still called the tricky room, ah, no. which I'm more than happy to keep it that way. <laughs> Have you got your own cocktail yet, though? Uh, no, no, it's completely <laughs> not that. Uh, no, I think they've named one of the toilets after me, though. <laughs> I've got to say, by the way, uh, the, the toilets are always so immaculately clean. It is worth. I noticed out. I, the first thing I said here too. Uh, yeah. the these are the cleanest toilets since the opening of the Mirage. Yeah, well, well I do, do my best. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not to miss the floor. <laughs> In between other things. Uh, it's been a great week. I want to hear about that. But first of all, these are two relatively local players. Do you know either one of them? I mean? uh, no, not so. I've not seen Maria before. Um, no, I, I believe Jacob's caught in. He's kind of free rolled his way into it through various. He was uh, down in Punta Cana <laughs> and he 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 got won something there. Came through phase one, that sort of thing. That's yeah, great. I kind of I, I'd love the thought of somebody getting in cheap, yeah. winning one of these rather than somebody. I mean, it's great the fact that we, you can get him for just five hundred quid if you wanted to flick. I mean, you can get him for a penny if you want, really. But it's uh, it would be great to see somebody do a gigantic spin up. Yeah, he was a phase one, and uh, Maria, I believe, was a day two direct buy-in, which 
a lot of people, Parg included, thought, well, that's just terrible value. You only get 50 big blinds. I'm not wasting money on that. But it, it's, it was not so bad, is it? You say that, but I mean, how many final tables would you join with 50 big blinds? You know, if you ever get deep into an event, quite often it's 25 big blinds would be the average yeah. for the final. So um, it's, it's such a good structure that, yeah, you can bind pretty late into it. So um, It is a good structure. Um, I think if I'd have got the chance, I, it's kind of the way I like to get into events nowadays. If I'm going to play, I don't. If I can have two days off and jump in at the last minute, I would have probably. No, but look, when you when you're a full time player and you do play a lot, it it means something to be able to kind of come in and make it serious right from the start. So are these worth a million each. These are? The the whites are yeah. five million and the yellows are a million. So. There's a billion in million. chips on yeah, the I, table. I was going to say this. Am I right in thinking this is the first event where there's actually a, a billion chips in play? Definitely. Yeah, you're right. You're right. One brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Top pair versus middle pair. I don't suppose Jacob's checking just to fold this uh, second pair here. You know, heads up. That counts as hitting the flop. and uh, But she smashed it with top pair. She knows how the values change as, as, as it gets, as the field thins out and the heads up. This is very, very big. Well, everything's big until the chips all start going in. And then you have to look two or three times. Well, yeah, <laughs> of course. And, and, she, and she's very good at putting the brakes on, you know. Uh, she, she, she's, she's the most likely player to check back the turn if it comes a blank and he checks that. You know I mean, that, because she's very good at pop control. It's a big part of her game. That's not exactly a blank on this board. We'll keep Jacob a little bit more interested now. We've got a shot. So each one of those chips is effectively <laughs> five, five times five. It's five people's buying. Yeah. Is this check check? By the way, what do you think, Jesse? Yeah, I think it is. I think, uh, yeah, he, he's checked and. Uh, I don't know. I think they're going to be playing for a while, personally. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to ease into this one. I, I'm not surprised that she checked back and. Uh, you know, he, he, he loves to just fire at these things. Well, if he controls. had nothing, he'd be more likely to, wouldn't he? But uh, I'm curious why you'd grow such a moustache just to hide it. <laughs> just to hide it. Under your, uh, your hoodie there. Um, well, this is a stopper bet, isn't it? You know, and um, she, she's calling it all day long. About, I mean, I, I've been away from the poker world for a couple of years, Scally, but the, the facial hair has run rampant these days. There was, <laughs> we, there was uh, Yesterday, there were six out of eight guys had a mustache at the table. That was a good blocker bet. If, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. if, if, if he checks, she's betting more than ten, isn't I she? I think so. He's, he's, he's won that little round there, <laughs> that skirmish. I mean, uh, oh, yeah, he lost let's, it. let's say on his even, shall we? <laughs> but, Scally, I haven't, I, it's actually been ten years, apparently, since I've been here, since the... the Black Friday in the 48-hour cash game, but this club is... Is this the most successful week of, of uh, club history, would you yeah, say, right now? That, I think it is, without a doubt. Anyway, certainly since I've been here, and we've had some big events on with the WPTs. Uh, but, you know, every credit to uh, Party Poker and Rob that they're really going for it. They want to pull out a tour there that's for the players, you know, A, for the players, but also that's enticing to new players as well, or maybe get a few people out of retirement. As time goes on, you know, there's going to be two events that every poker player is not going to want to miss. It's going to be the World Series main event, and it's going to be the Party the Poker Millions. millions. I mean, it, it, it's, it's absolutely huge. The first prize in most of these big tournaments is like 200,000, 300,000. I mean, getting the million pound first prizes back. Is yeah, I think, I think what happened, I mean, a few years ago, everybody got a little bit giddy, didn't they? And they started upping the, uh, the buy-ins from like 3,000 to 5,000 to 10,000, then 20,000. Yeah. And you were getting these million pound prize pools, but then people started to realize they're sucking so much money out of the community yeah. <laughs> that yeah, they yeah. had to drop the prizes. So even like the EPTs have gone from 10,000 buy-ins back to like 3,000 WPTs, same way. This is the best of all possible worlds because you know the, the the best value tournaments on the circuit tend to be like the the thousand euro buy-ins or whatever where you get a you get a more spread of ability in the field and but this is allowing everybody a shot. You can come in at different levels. You can come in at the different yeah. levels. You can play online um, if you're from overseas. You can play your, your day one online, so you don't need to travel until you get deep into the event. Um, yeah, I mean, look, they've they've gone out there. They've tried a completely new concept and. You know, it, it would appear it's worked. Oh, yeah. She's pulled a whole, whole huge boot out of her arsenal here. She's like a siren on the rocks, isn't she? I <laughs> she mean, this really is unbelievable. 
hear my song. I'm not sure about this one. I think I would probably take the free card here if I was Jacob. He's well, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with uh, was keeping up the pressure. She can't have, like, top pair every time, you know. <laughs> it's really tough to, to, to check the river when you've, when you've barreled this turn, isn't it? I mean, you kind of yeah. can't really respect it. You're just building a, you're building, <laughs> you're kind of building a pot, aren't you? That, you you know, know that feeling yeah. well. <laughs> Exactly. This is a man with experience in the three barrel if you're bluffs. Now, if you now flat call it, you, 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 you're already starting to price up how much you're going to try and make this on the. Uh, well, there is probably no sweeter feeling in poker than the, the big third barrel bluff that you really shouldn't be making and getting the third barrel. You know what? As, as far as Maria is concerned. If he doesn't get the five, six or three, so we can just check behind. Yeah. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's that's her approach, isn't it? This has been working for her all oh, the way. He's got that. Oh he's got that. I think he'll get a few quid out of this as well. Oh, my yep. God. Yep. But uh, is she going to check call again? I mean, how big is he going to size it now? He's going to go big. Yeah, yeah, that's what, to make it look like a bluff. And, uh, yeah. I think he's going to go big and she's going to call. 120 million, something like that. The what problem is, is, I mean, you haven't been watching him all, all, all two days like the rest of us, Scali, but I think he would have he would have made a big bet if that car doesn't come. I, I think he was setting himself up for a three-barreler. Yeah, I mean, he knows it works a lot of the time. Um, she was in front the whole time. She she seems to have a good sense of, of where she is in the pot in terms of strength. What's she imagining that he might have? A, a set? But I don't she know. has made laydowns in this spot. She got away from this exact yeah. player. Yeah. He was raising seven out of eight hands or seven out of ten or whatever yesterday with two She's tables folding. left. She got away from Jax. This is a fold. She got away from Jax on a ten high flop. He had aces. He had raised. She flatted. It was amazing. Or cowardly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it it's always a fine line. Yeah, it was a good fold on that occasion, is what you say. <laughs> no, it, it was happened to be. I the hand she's most afraid of is maybe Jack Queen, right? Jack Queen, potentially. Yeah, would he bet that high with Queen King? I mean, uh, yeah, probably not. Uh, and. Um, well, he's, no, he's very polarized. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This, this is a... Well... There's no point showing the card now. Now she knows what you What she's done here... Well, she's, shown one, she's shown one card. What, what she's done here is she, she's called on every street when she's in front and, she, and she's ditched it when she miraculously went behind. He's tried to mess with her head by showing this... Uh, showing the one card, six. 6 BB for 71. Yeah, it's still very close. I mean, basically, the story of this heads up so far is the cards have been very sweet to him, I think. And, and, and she's kind of, uh, she's got away doing the minimum um, in every hand where she's either tried something or, um, or gone behind on the end. It, he's going to be the guy making the big barrels. I, I, yeah. the, the, the problem that I always think is that you say, well, you just got to catch him once. But if you don't, the guys who make those big barrels, they actually, that aggression. He's tried to mess with her head by showing this, uh, showing the one card, six. He's, he's definitely a man who's feeling confident. We, we spotted him yesterday, Barney. I mean, he, from yeah. a long way out, he, yeah, was, yeah. he was really there. We, we had only sat down there, down to two tables last night, or three tables, whatever, and he made a lovely uh, Jack Deuce offsuit squeeze from the big blind five-way, followed it up with the barrel on the flop with absolute zero, and, you know. Yeah. You know, I mean, that stands out. Yeah, it was like, like we say, you don't have to hit your cards. <laughs> they have to hit theirs if you play the game properly. No, he, he has been playing absolutely fantastic. I suspect he'll be favourite for this one as well. I made Maria favourite. I made Maria favourite in this head. Yeah, we, we had a disagreement about that, didn't we, Jesse? Yeah, I, was, yeah. I took him, um, but, you know, there's not a lot in it, obviously. And they've got very different styles, but I just felt that his style probably suited uh, heads up a bit better. I, ju I just I'm, feel I'm, all, the pots, all the pots they both need, such as this, so yeah. he's going to take the majority of those hands. She needs to adjust. Well, she did have a little peek at her chips there, so she might be thinking of a move, but it's a little bit difficult when you've got four. No, here we go. 
there's always difficult. There's always a, a, a long road when your head's up between knowing you need to adjust and actually adjusting, right? Because the pressure sure. never goes away. Well, I mean, for the second time, she, she's called him down with King High and been right. But I mean, there you go. He's, I mean, he's just going to continue barreling. Yeah. For, you know, while they're both missing, he's just going to sort of chisel away. He's got a 2-1 to one chip lead now. He's probably only, you know, a couple more pots. He'll have a 3-1 to one chip lead yeah. and then without even having to make hands. So. Yeah, he's, he's, he's absolutely, he's uh, battered her. So. I she's going to have to draw a line in the sand. He's battered her. She's going to have to be prepared to play a bigger pot and, and try and get back into it that way, I think. See, this is this is one of the reasons why I loved the Devilfishes game because in this kind of spot, if if, if he was sitting where he, he would, well, he he would he would kick he would have kicked Jacob under the table. He used to, he, you know, he would use anything. <laughs> if, if <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, like it's it can, sometimes it gets a bit dirty. Yeah. I wonder who he spotted yet that, that, that uh, every time she's limped on the button, she's been weak. Well, she's she's been calling down with high card a lot, and been right. When, the, when she's done it, he, he might have finally figured out that she's had she's done with she's done with folding rivers, which is pretty clever. But now he knows that. It'd be interesting to see if yeah. he's just going to keep barreling or whether he's just happy to take a free card here and there. <laughs> oh well, I was, was going to say she looks like she's thinking about play. She she must play back here and play back reasonably big. I don't know. Unless she's thinking of trapping, it's yeah. one of those where <laughs> she's she's, she's waited so long without three bet, it almost seems. Well, I don't know. But she could catch a pretty disguised hand, and now she knows I, he's barreling a lot. Yeah, I, I, I guess she knows that it, um, she's, she's going to get him to lay down a lot of cards that hands that she's dominating. She does with playback, but she's gotten so, herself into a sticky situation here. Well, I think she's going to be check, check calling it down with the ace high as well. Well, the, uh, she's, been, she's done it with king high and uh, queen high so far, so... Uh, I, I've seen this before, and to, to be honest, I, I feel like this always, almost always plays out with, with, with Jacob winning. You know, you just, you just, heads up, you just cannot beat a trapper. It just don't work. But, ah, she, she, she knows her ace is good a lot of the time. So fair play to her. This is the way she's playing. Yeah, but if it, you know it's a guessing game, she's going to yeah. check, and it's it's tough, man. No, it's not ideal, is it? It's not ideal. She's giving herself some very very difficult decisions. But will Jacob uh, will Jacob continue? That past form says that he does. Maria's made it very complicated for herself facing this and the river bet. I mean, she. I mean, this, this reminds me a bit, to be honest, if you watch the, the Heads Up in the World Series uh, main event this year. Um, the, the, the gentleman who won, uh, he, was, he was 10 times more aggressive, and it looked like he was always going to win. The other fellow was trying to trap him. Yeah. And honestly, n never really got the chance. We actually had that on in here. And <laughs> it, would have been, it would have been a, a massive injustice if the other guy would have won, for sure. <laughs> By the way, it makes more sense for her to play this way if she's prepared to make these calls that she's making here, because she's right. Well, she, she is, is right. But you know. I, I know. I mean, uh, you know, and, the, and uh, how the hell does he bet again now? That's a blank on the river. I think he's batting. Well, I don't know. Well, he does have a king. You I, know I, mean, I mean, the Barney... He, he, you he's, know, only the he's only going to get us a pass exactly an ace, right? But the polarizing stuff he's done... Well, maybe. The, he, he, you know, he, if he does bet, he has to he bet could, pot side. He could really. put her on a flush draw, a busted flush draw here. Yeah, but then, but then he's hoping his king's good, right? But he can't expect his king to be good here, so he, I think he has to bet this. So I think he'd be, a bet of about... What? A hundred well, thousand. Well, this is a star, yeah. he's hundred million will do. Wow. Well, you know, she's chosen to play it a certain way, and um, well, if she does find a call, it would be the. Uh, it'll be very impressive. But momentum you know, will switch massively. What was her plan on the turn? If she, if she's not, I mean, it's, it is a very big bet. She'll take her time. This is a very, very. This is a high you stress. Can see her bar, her heart, that, you know, she, she, she can yeah. turn round the, the tip position with, with this call. She so made me uh, think: Is he going to call? Is he going to bet two or four? Or she's seven? beating every bluff. And she's going to be four to one chip disadvantage if she calls and loses here. It's nearly tournament over for her. You've never lost a chip a chip lead of four to one. No. <laughs> I, I, we, we've done so many of those, but I remember that one clearly. I think I aged about five years on that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Maria's facing her biggest and toughest decision of the whole tournament so far. It's one of those, if you call and you're wrong. If you fold and you're wrong, it's not a disaster. But if you call here with ace and you're wrong. Yeah. Um, 
And you're playing for a million. She kind of looks like she's... I mean, you know, she, she decided on the turn. She was still good. What I admire about her oh, come on. is that she put come herself on. in a position. She knew she was putting herself in a position to have to make this decision. And, I mean, right or wrong, she was willing. This is how she's gotten to this point. There's yeah. three guys who have made ridiculous bluffs against her. The queen won't have changed whoever was in the lead in the pot. Uh, she's gone with reeds a lot. And, uh, I, have, I think she's calling. I think she's, uh, she's calling. calling. I think she's calling. Yeah, it really looks like it. She, you know, she's thinking, how much difference does it make, you know, to my situation if I lose these chips, compared to how it's going to turn the thing around if I win the pot. This is she's calling. This is her. Tournament. She's calling. This is her tournament. It's huge. <laughs> wow! I thought she'd given up. Wow! wow that's brilliant. Nice that's call. brilliant. Nice call. Wow! And wow, she's, wow! 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 He's going to hate. Ace high, side. baby. <laughs> Beat that. <laughs> Take that! Wow! I saw like a oh bus. man! I actually think she's missing a trick here. I think standing up and saying "on your bike" <laughs> would, would would totally. I mean, that would show you rear it <laughs> on your bike. <laughs> well, I don't think she needs to. Look, look at him. Look at look look at how he, he now uh, feels. He'll be drained now. He's, he's yeah, been yeah. sat there holding his breath for the last ten minutes. <sighs> She's she right back in this. Well, every credit, credit, and she knows what he's been doing. She but knows what he's, you know, she's found him out. Yeah. Look how significant it, that, that was. Is that when somebody fell down the stairs? Who fell down the stairs? Well, well that was the, 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 the one, uh, the, 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 the dim event. He had a two to one chip yeah, lead. Uh, she's now in front. <laughs> you know, she's sitting up in her stairs, chair. Yeah. I knew somebody <laughs> fell down the stairs. <laughs> oh, this is, is, this is the ultimate contest. The guy that's ordered a pint against the girl who's ordered the water. That's the second pint. I'd say it's going to go down the He's still, He hasn't recovered from that hand yet. Look at him. He's still shaking his head. Yeah. You know, I, I know you can't hear it in here, but I, I've been outside. There's, it's it's like a football match. It's like yeah. the darts. It's fantastic. I, I haven't heard such an atmosphere around the table since uh, Marty Smith won the, the 10K Omaha in Vegas. When it was when it was an almost uh, riot situation, and <laughs> Phil Helmet was playing for his 70th bracelet or something <laughs> on a side table, and uh, <laughs> to to an audience of six. <laughs> I remember, I remember it well. I, 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 I remember, I remember that, better I remember than most. I was the only guy, sober guy <laughs> in the gallery. <laughs> it, it was, it was, I think it was the round <laughs> was two cases of. Uh, Miller Light oh. or something. The, the, the funniest part about it was that the, he ended up. Uh, I don't know if it was heads up or three-handed against the grinder, and uh, there, was, there was a whole load of Americans there who reckoned the grinder must be the greatest. Oh the yeah, greatest, yeah, 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 Omaha yeah. player in the entire oh, world, and, and all the Europeans realized oh, and that. The, that Australian guy was there, the <laughs> Billy the Croc. It was, it was entirely possible that, that Marty and I think Tom uh, Ryan was on. Uh, Tom, uh, check this out. Tom, Tom, Tom was. Tom was there. I think he finished fifth. Who was, yeah. Uh, who, who actually was a, an excellent Omaha player. And, uh, <laughs> but I, that's, that's, and, I remember it's some and point. Ar and arguably Ireland's number one bridge player. I remember at some point this right she's got. Sorry. Look, at, look how she's changed up her yeah. game. Limped on the button and she's raised just a, just a gut shot there. That yeah. hand changed everything when she made that call. The, the, the game is a complete game changer. So she is she is supposed to open up and try and run over him. Yeah, right? I mean, um, but mind you, I mean, one thing is she's still doing is limping with her with her Oh, look hands. at this! She's, but she's gone continuing back for the chips. story now, and this this is this is absolutely great. He hasn't seen this from before. Nobody's seen this from her before. And, well, uh, it's it's back to the old. What doesn't gonna kill work. you makes you stronger. It's going to work. It, it, I mean, he's got a pair and a gut shot. But um, you said nobody's seen her limping with her strong hands. But when she turned over the ace jack, he'll know that it was a hand she didn't three bet. With. Oh no! But she called a raise out of yeah. position there. Yeah. And um, Jesus, this has all got a bit hairy. Uh, well, he, he's he's calling her down. Wow! What is he thinking? If, if one more bet, and it's it, and it's going to work for her. She has picked up a pair now, but she she's got to know that's no good most of the time. I mean, he's suspicious of the fact that she only limped on the button and then she's repping this flop. Well, I think she's but suspicious of the fact that she raised him on the flop, which is yeah. fairly unorthodox for her game. Uh, in a way, it's unfortunate for her that she that she caught a pair. I think she 
she kind of uh, felt she had a you know she had ways to win it without betting. I mean, on that kind of board, there's not a million hands you want to be raising in position on the flop. Um, against against someone who, le who leads out. I mean, yeah. if she's got an ace, you want one, to call one she's, her. She's one especially the way she's been playing. Yeah, but she has changed the game up here. Make a lot of sense to me. Yeah. I mean, no. I, th I think she could have represented the straight best of all, to be honest with you. That would have been the hand that she would most likely to have had. It was a 10 queen or a queen jack. <laughs> She could have represented the straight best of all, to be honest with you. That would have been the hand that she would most likely to have had. It was a 10 queen or a queen jack. Yeah, she's sitting confident. up in her chair and she's feeling yeah. like she can really win this. I and mean, the body uh, language looks uh, yeah. very good for her. You know, like we've been watching her for two days, uh, being very deliberate about all the decisions. And, uh, can she play back on this board? I mean, who can watch this and say that poker is not sport? You know, that you've got the, the, the switch. A lot of people, I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to start naming them? <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you got? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, the master of answering the rhetorical <laughs> question. Who can, <laughs> who can say these are not two athletes in the prime of their... <laughs> oh, don't get him started again, for God's sake. <laughs> in, in the prime of their careers. <laughs> She's changed up her game. If she hasn't got a strong enough hand to call down with. Oh, okay, it's a call. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Okay, well, how much better a card can she have hopes of seeing on the turn? Top pair now and the flush draw. Now she can go back into check call mode. We'll, we'll, we'll see how quickly he checks here. I mean, that was an out of position float with her. Don't make no mistake, she had nothing. She was planning something on the turn. By, by the way, in, under the heading of Jacob. This, well, that's, this it, that's all she could have been doing, Barney. Yeah. This, this takes heart. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he doesn't switch off. I mean, I, I love the way he plays it. It, it. it might not be hard. It, it, might, it might be stubbornness. The, the, be their styles are so well set up for a great heads-up match because they've got opposite styles, haven't they? And a lot of it is card dependent, but now, you know, I think she was planning to do a check raise on the turn. She and now, now. Now, now she can just call because... Uh, She's hit kind of like the ultimate bingo card on the turn for her. I think from her point of view, if she goes for the check raise, she doesn't give him the opportunity to lose his entire this stack is, on the river. This is a give up. He, he, I say he gives up this time. Because, so. because, you know, she called on that uh, that two diamond board. You know, she, she called again on the turn when the diamond came. What does he think he's going to get her off on the river? Look at the color of his ears right now, Barney. I, I, I think he's determined. He's, he's committed uh, to a strategy. Well, well for yeah. a start off, she could have a flush. Yeah, but but I, I actually, <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually think he's he's well, kind of. Well, it fits of, the story. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really think it's this? very very important to him to get a bluff. Oh, he through. has to bet really yeah. big after getting yeah. a bluff called. I, I think there's something else at, at he's work over, here. He's over bet the pot here. He's over bet the pot. I, I think I she's think. going to find this call quicker than the last one. It's, it's, it's unbelievable if she does make this call and loses how quick these people have switched without a cooler at all. Is this a harder or easier decision than the, than the ace high? It's an easier one. Yeah. Because uh, it's going to do her less damage if she's wrong. And, um, well, it's a huge bet, but uh, just in terms and, and, of... And the 10 doesn't look that scary. It doesn't really fit. He would never have made this bet. That? No. I mean, it would be great if he could. No, he'd have been, I mean, he'd have been delighted to hit the 10 and checked. It, it, no, he probably would have valued it, but, but uh, you know, he would have better. Well, okay. But, you, know, you know what? If she, if she found the call with the ace jack, I think she's finding this call too, isn't she? Now I think she's folding. Now I've decided she's Because he's sat back in the chair. I don't think. Because she's only just got these chips. <laughs> it's because of the 7 <laughs> I think there's absolutely no chance she's folding here. No, I, th I think she's calling. The game just keeps on changing, and the, you keep seeing new so, things. So it looks the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that may explain quite a lot. <laughs> here, here, here she is, showing something that that has not been shown much before. 
I know, hope I mean, she, whether she calls or folds, I hope she doesn't do it. Okay, one minute. So I don't know what Jacob had for lunch, but we are going to find out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Who's put her on the clock? It can only be that Jacob's put her on the clock. And um, how did he do that without, without that's what I want to know. Does he wiggle his ears to <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, you know, weird things happen sometimes. I mean, people get you know, yes, Oh, well, well, yeah, well yeah, yeah. played. Putting on, on the clock didn't help. Uh, that, that's, uh, he didn't think that she had a uh, hand that strong. He thought he was getting her off ace high, and uh, that's a great, great call. You Look know, at that is, crowd out here. This is a great match. This is a great match. This is a fantastic <laughs> match. It really, really is. So they well, were, you well, know, well, if they ever here, ask me what was player. Barney Boatman's greatest achievement, <laughs> I would say it, it, it has to be. Do you remember in the late night poker when um, Barney was doing previews on the Hendon Mob? That's true. And, uh, and he had one-liners for, uh, you know, all the guys who'd become great household names. names. Yeah. I mean, every one of them. <laughs> was a uh, was it was a classic? I mean, I, I used to love it. But we were talking about this in some commentary on the Irish Open recently. Or I mean, what was it in Killarney? What was your favourite one? Before we get into what may very well be the last hand of the tournament, Mike <laughs> McGee. <laughs> He called him Mystic Mike. He can put you on a hand before you look at your cards. <laughs> <laughs> and if you knew Mike I'm McGee, that is the greatest description of the man. Close, close, he followed. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to save the rest of them for the next stream. This, is, this looks like a bit of a cola, doesn't it? Now, with Jackarama, the crew Alexandra of poker can't string two passes together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten that one. Yeah, that was all right. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well... Wow, and here's the she's got, a, she's got a fade, mostly just fade an ace to, to, uh, for, for a million here. For Is a million it? pounds. Now, I, I, obviously, uh, Marie's in the, in the catbird seat. If she does m lose this, she's the favorite, but she'll still have a 400,000 or so chip stack. It's all in for Jacob. Needing that ace from space. God, after all the little games of chess that we're playing... It, it always winds up, yeah. doesn't it, with a big caller, or very, very often. Two huge hands here. All you can get is a swing and miss. Well, she's a big favourite now. I'll tell you what, these, these are two, two total warriors of the felt. I love the way Jacob has played today. Yeah. Absolutely adored, but Maria has been... I like the way he played yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, too. But it ain't over yet. And close your eyes. This is this is such a big moment for both of them, especially for her, because uh, and they both got a big rail here. So closing your eyes doesn't help because <laughs> when you hear the big roar, you don't know who's doing it. I mean, this is for one million pounds. There it is. A million pounds. And she doesn't she deserve it? I mean, she's played extraordinarily well. And, and honestly, the heads up was fantastic. The final yeah. table's fantastic. I mean, a, a great tournament has had a very, very worthy winner. Yeah. And, 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 the worthy second, and a very worthy runner-up. Runner yeah, very worthy runner-up. They, runner up. they both played great. But she's, she's made so many really tough yep. decisions. She made it so complicated for herself. And she was up to the task every time. Yeah. And uh, it was, you know, she trapped. Look at she, that smile. Yeah. I mean, I mean, think back what she started to, 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 to kneel uh, when he had the Kings and uh, Jeremy, who, who bluffed. Uh, uh, I hope River. that's her boyfriend. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, yeah, and, and obviously, as you said, full credit to, to Jacob, who uh, I mean, the, the man has some serious game. Yeah, some yeah, serious yeah. game. He, really he was everybody's worry for the last two days. I mean, what a great I mean, result for this great tournament. Yeah. I mean, two locals playing heads up for a million in Nottingham. I yeah. mean, if, you, if you'd asked me a few years ago, I mean, if you turned Nottingham upside down, would you find a million? <laughs> I'd, I'd have taken the unders. And think back, it seems like a long time ago, but think back at the, to the lineup at this final table. What a great lineup it was. <laughs> really, really strong final. This format has, has allowed really good players to come through, and it's allowed really good play at the final. It's been a real pleasure to watch. And I'll tell you what, this time next year, 
the only, the only difference there. is going to be that it's you know the, the first prize is probably going to be bigger the prize pool is certainly going to be bigger well i can you guarantee know. you the guarantee won't be small <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it's no. party poker live president john duffy and party poker ambassador and the king of poker mike sexton i think to make the presentation well i'm mike sexton on behalf of everyone at party poker and on behalf of the party poker live tour and president john duffy we want to thank everyone for participating in this fantastic championship event. And certainly we now want to talk and congratulate our champion, Maria Lampropoulos from Argentina. Maria, what a fantastic performance you put on today at this final table. You made some fantastic calls for a lot of money. You made some bluffs. You played perfectly. Were you pretty confident coming to this final table that you had a shot to do this? Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, it's the best moment of my life. It's, I like, whoa. I don't know what to The best moment of your life? Well, that's for sure. You've won one million pounds. And not only that, you have created an inspiration for millions of women around the world to now know that they can come out and play poker with the guys and take down the big tournaments. Yes, women, congrats me. Everybody's so happy with this. <laughs> well, once again, we want to congratulate you for a great performance, for winning the first Millions Championship and one million pounds here at Dust Hill Dawn. One more time, let's hear it for our champion, Maria Lampropoulos. Thank He's got no way of winning it, and uh, she played it to get the absolute low. I mean, uh, whether she's got a monster or a marginal hand, but she, she, she gives it a lot of thought, and that's great composure on the, on the huge stage. Wow! And he's done it. He's pulled the trigger. Go on, my man. I mean, if oh, anybody thinks this long when you make a bluff, you know it can't be that terrible, right? Because uh, you made them think. She's made the call. Okay. Good for her. It's an incredible performance she's done here. God, after all the little games of chess that we're playing... It, it always winds up, doesn't yeah. it, with a big call door very, very often. Two huge hands here. There it is. <laughs>